Hello and welcome to this top 10 beginner's guide of tips and tricks. And for this one, I hope you have a cup of tea or a big fluffy adorable animal with you. And let's get straight to it. Number one. So for our first one here, we have Hunter's Remains. So as you can see, you just simply select it. You press this button here, you pick it up. And let's go and look for that. When it decides to load. So... Once you've got your hunter's remains, you can open those and you see you've got relic shards. So those relic shards you actually hand into a guy next to uh, the bounty trader. This is right in Far Cry Castle. Uh, and for those bounty tokens, I mean, you can even sell those. Uh, and they go for about 2 to 4k at the moment. Uh, this is in Gwydion at least. Uh, or you can simply just use them for your daily bounties, uh, which I strongly recommend. So that's hint number one. Number two. Let's talk about bounties. So bounties are um, actually what you can do once you've created, uh, once you've gathered enough relic shards. Uh, you can talk to this gentleman here, and he gives you a quest with which you can get bounty pledges to use, of course, to get a bounty. So to start your bounty, you talk to this pole, kind of weird, uh, and you just accept the quest here. Now it should tell you uh, what you have to kill, all the items you have to collect from killing something. Uh, and you simply just have to go kill them, get the items, come back, return. Uh, and in return, you will get something called... Well, you get these tokens. So you get Hunter's Favor, uh, as well as some others. Let me just check for you. So you get Hunter's Boon, and also Hunter's Prize. Now, these can actually be used in this shop here, which is the bounty vendor. Uh, and you can use these to buy, for example, mounts. Uh, for anyone who's paid even a little bit, they'll start to realize that mounts are pretty damn expensive. Uh, and the tokens can go for about 100k each, in Gwydion at least. Um, and obviously each one of these purple ones that you've got, so that's the Hunter's Prize, uh, you can claim equivalent to one mount token. So this can help you make a hell of a lot of money. Bounties can help you uh, level up a lot quicker, which is how a lot of higher levels actually uh, level up past level 220. Uh, and also, they just sort of get you used to what you should be killing uh, to level up as well. So yeah, those are well, some of the great things about bounties. So that's number two. Number three, so third on our list is actually fishing. So fishing is a great way to make money. Uh, it's, it's great for low level food and higher level food once you get a much higher level. Uh, and during f doing fishing, you can actually you can get yourself quite a lot of money, actually. I know a lot of my friends that uh, are reluctant to pay money to get platinum. Actually, you can get platinum from fishing, believe it or not, uh, as well as other jewellery and, of course, gold. Uh, and a lot of the drops from fishing uh, actually tend to sell for quite a bit. So it's not completely useless as much as people think. Uh, people can often be reluctant to start it. Uh, and for your information, it is actually started here, hence why my character is here. So this is in uh, in Liz Reach, of course. So this is tip number four. You're probably wondering why the hell I'm standing in a random field with an ox. Uh, well, this is because the next tip is about cooking. Now, cooking similar to fishing actually offers uh, a good way to make a hell of a lot of money, uh, as well as helping you get cheap or self-made food. So food can obviously supplement, for example, um, restoration potions, or even uh, one thing that a lot of the higher levels use, which are barrow births. Uh, these actually increase your pierce damage, uh, which are very often used to outlock other clans in higher levels, uh, which will be talked about in a later video, but let's leave it out for this one. So uh, the reason I'm here is because obviously you can grab some of the ingredients, for example, oats. You simply pick it and you've got one. Or if you go over here, you've got lentils, and over here, you've got wheat, or barley, sorry. And obviously, in the surrounding area, you do have a, a good lot of uh, ingredients to pick from. Uh, and definitely worth stocking up on before you actually just jump into cooking. Uh, another thing to mention is people do individually buy these uh, ingredients. So if you want to hoard them or collect them to sell, that's also okay, and it's not too bad either. We're still back on cooking. This is actually the tavern. So why are we in the tavern? That's because simply we use the tavern to help us cook. Now I will eventually make a video on a cooking guide, uh, but for those who don't know how to cook already, 
I recommend just searching up other videos, I'm sure there's some handy guides out there. But just to give you the gist of it, you trade this person here, they give you some ingredients, along with the ones that you already have. Uh, and geez, that is a big sword, I've never noticed that in my life. Okay, cool. Uh, anyway, so we carry on over here. We go into this room here, and as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of people crowded around these. So these are obviously where you'll be doing your cooking. Oh, in one of these, if I can select it. So use the oven. Just press start cooking. And obviously with your ingredients, you press here, just to make it impossible to burn whatever you're making. You press cook, and you wait for this timer, or this bar here anyway. So a neat trick is that when it gets to about halfway or when you see your experience drop, you just exit and it's pre-made for you. So instantly is made and you can already click on the oven again and continue doing that. So it's a nice way to uh, cook a bit quicker. It's a bit more intensive um, and obviously a lot less AFK, um, but this is the area you do it. You can also talk to these two guys here. So Gideon Ramsworth, uh, or Ramsford, sorry and Ashley Marriott. So these two um, should help you uh, level up a bit quicker. I'm gonna give you quests which can help you get money. And yeah, so that's just cooking. Our fifth and final tip of the video. Uh, this is just to simply join a clan. So this is arguably the most important tip I can give. The reason being for this is that it's incredibly important to join a clan. Uh, my main reason is obviously for the social side. Um, you get a lot more, that we learn a lot more when you talk to clan mates. You have um, a little group that you can consult with any problems or any questions. Uh, and it also gives you a bit of motivation, whether it's within your own clan or externally. Uh, or with other clans, sorry. Uh, another thing is, obviously it's fun. So when you talk to other clan mates, you, you know, you can build uh, relationships, make new friends, you know. And this is kind of nice. Um, whether you add them uh, outside of the game on things like Lion, uh, or, you know, just get to know them a bit better. Anyway, so another thing about being in a good clan is um, obviously the bossing and access to better gear. So of course, with more of you, you have the ability to kill harder bosses. Uh, and of course that also enables you to get better gear. Uh, and this is obviously important as you progress into higher levels, of course. So. That brings a conclusion to the video. So uh, hope you've learned something. As always, please keep up the support. If you can like the video, subscribe, or just leave constructive criticism, uh, I'll be more than welcome to take that on or reply soon or later. Uh, please keep tuned as well, because we will be having a giveaway pretty soon. So uh, make sure you keep an eye on uh, on my uh, on my videos. Uh, one will be coming shortly. I'll post most likely a few days before it happens. So thanks, thanks again for watching and hope you have a good day.